Hi, my name is Larry Levy and I'm a volunteer with the Lincoln Park Conservancy. We do wildflower walks each month in the good weather in North Pond Nature Preserve and here at the Alfred Caldwell Lily Pool. Today we'll look at some wildflowers that are blooming in late August in the lily pool. At this time of year we have a few white water lilies left blooming. You can see this one has gone to sleep for the day. They open up in generally in the morning. If you could get close enough to it, it would be fragrant. The seeds are eaten by waterfowl and the Native Americans use the stems to help with toothaches and the rhizomes or underground stems for coughs and colds. This is snake root, an aster flower related to the sunflower. It grows to be about five feet tall and has a delicate white flower. The seeds are dispersed by the wind and bees like it. The Native Americans used it to make a tea or a poultice to cure snake bites, hence its name. They would also burn the leaves to revive the unconscious. If the flowers are eaten by livestock, like cows, goats, or sheep, it can make their milk dangerous for humans. It can also kill the cattle. It's believed that Abraham Lincoln's mother died from drinking milk contaminated with snake root. This is a black-eyed Susan, Rubeckia herda, because it has a hairy leaf. It's related to the brown-eyed Susan, Rudbeckia triloba, which has a three-lobed leaf. It's a compact flower with six to twelve florets surrounded by a cone and it's self-pollinating, popular with bees and butterflies. Native Americans used it to fight colds, flu, and infection, and used the flower and petals to make a soup as a diuretic. You could also make a wash out of it for snake bite, burns, and weeds. The brown-eyed Susan was a Victorian symbol of justice because perennial flowers come back each year just like justice can be counted on to prevail. This is Virgin's Bower, a vine. The white flowers are in small clusters. It's popular, popular with bees, wasps, and flies, and butterflies as well. It would be toxic to mammals, but songbirds enjoy nesting in the leaves. The Native Americans used an extract of Virgin's Bower to induce strange dreams or hallucinations. And an infusion from the root was used to cure stomach troubles, kidney issues, and venereal disease. We talked in a previous tour about elderberry. We saw the white flowers. Now in late August we have the fruit of the elderberry which could be used to make wine, jam, or a tasty pie. This tall plant is Joe Pie Weed which can, can grow to over six feet tall. It's got a very strong stem, rose-colored flowers, and a compound inflorescence. The flowers are clusters of groups of flowers. It's vanilla scented and attracts butterflies. Joe Pye was a Native American healer from New England. He lived between 1740 and 1785 and he taught the settlers to use it to cure kidney stones, fevers, and urinary tract infections and it was also used to cure typhus.
Thank you for joining me on this wildflower walk through the Alfred Caldwell Lily Pool, sponsored by the Lincoln Park Conservancy.